Ye Sung is a lawyer defending her late father for a crime he did not commit. While leaving the prison court due to the successful trial, Ye Sung notices a balloon being caught on barbed wire and thinks back about the past. Back in 1997, six-year-old Ye Sung and her father, Yang Gu, who is mentally disabled with the brain of a six-year-old, stare into a store window admiring a Sailor Moon backpack. Yang Gu promises to buy Ye Sung the backpack tomorrow when he gets paid. However, in the midst of their plan making, the police commissioner and his daughter purchase it before Yang Gu can. When childlike Yang Gu rushes in to grab the backpack and insist it belongs to Ye Sung because they saw it first, he is assaulted by the police commissioner and kicked out of the store. After the incident the two return to home bagless, slightly battered, but in high spirits. Yang Gu and Ye Sung only seem to have each other and the bond between father and daughter is immeasurable. As young as Ye Sung is she takes charge and parents her father the best her six-year-old self can. They even have a special goodbye routine where Ye Sung counts to three and Yang Gu turns around for them both to pull their silliest faces. The next day, after work, the commissioner's daughter spots Yang Gu and tries to show him another store selling the same backpack. In a complete freak accident the little girl slips running on the market's icy pavement and a brick drops on her head. Yang Gu is arrested for rape and murder after he, in a vain attempt, performs CPR on the child, and spotted by bystander who mistakenly takes it as an act of sexual assault. Yang Gu is sent to prison, where he shares a jail cell with five other inmates, prisoners, all who initially dislike him for his falsely accused crime and mental disability. One day, Yang Gu saves the life of his cellmate and prison gang leader, So Yang Ho, from being stabbed by a rival prison gang leader. So Yang Ho then offers to help Yang Gu in any way he can to return the favor. Yang Gu tells So Yang Ho that he wants to see his daughter Ye Sung. The inmates are successful in smuggling Ye Sung into the prison and reuniting her with Yang Gu when her choir visits the prison for a performance. The little girl is introduced to the cast of characters that is her dad's cellmates and gets help being hidden away when officers come. She manages to stay for a night until being found out the next morning when her choir reports her missing and the warden goes on a search. In fact, the warden knows that Yang Gu was not the assailant of the girl, after Yang Gu saved him and another inmate from an attempted arson, but he could not do anything in front of the commissioner's power to help him. He is however able to allow Ye Sung to visit Yang Gu every day after school. Before the trial took place, Yang Gu was trained by Room 7 inmates on how to answer the prosecution potential question and he earnestly train and become proficient in answering the question posed by his inmate roommates. Ye Sung, the prison warden and the Room 7 inmates all attend Yang Gu's trial to prove his innocence. Unfortunately, the commissioner calls and beats Yang Gu before the trial, threatening to kill his daughter if he does not confess. Left with no other choice, Yang Gu sacrifices himself by lying that he killed the commissioner's daughter to protect Ye Sung. Yang Gu is then sentenced with a death penalty on December 23, which happens to fall on Ye Sung's birthday. The inmates, feeling sorry for Yang Gu, decide to build a hot air balloon for their grand plan for Yang Gu to escape. During a prison concert, the inmates send Yang Gu and Ye Sung on the balloon and effortlessly try to stop the guards from capturing Yang Gu, but the balloon's rope is held by barbed wire. The inmates and Yang Gu then celebrate Ye Sung's birthday before he is executed. Soon, the executor calls Yang Gu. Yang Gu and Ye Sung started to cry and hugged each other, begging the executor to not kill Yang Gu. Yang Gu later dies from the execution. Inside the court 16 years later, in the present, Ye Sung, now an adult and adopted by the warden, emotionally states that she will forgive Yang Gu for his actions. The head lawyer exonerates Yang Gu by giving him a sentence of innocence and the permission to reinvestigate the girl's death, to the joy of the released room seven inmates, the warden, and now tearful Ye Sung. The scene then moves back to the beginning of the film. Ye Sung then notices a vision of Yang Gu and her younger self on the hot air balloon waving goodbye to her. She then tearfully says goodbye to her father as the balloon flies away to the sky, implying that Yang Gu is free and leaving for heaven as well as symbolizing that Ye Sung is finally letting her father go.